Hey yo, what's going on YouTube? We are back with another Only Up video. Today, we're going to be doing a complete guide run through for Only Up. We're going to go through a lot of the jumps, a, a lot of the skips um, that you're seeing online from your favorite speedrunners. This video is going to be geared more towards newer players. So what you're going to find is that a lot of my jumps and skips uh, are, are not the most optimal. They're not the fastest way to do everything, but they are the fastest, easiest way to do things. Um, so if you're a new player, if you're struggling with any specific jumps, some of the tips you're going to find in this video are going to be very helpful. I'm going to break it down into chapters for you guys. So if you're looking for one specific area that you're struggling with, you can go ahead and skip forward now to that specific area. Now, if you do like what you see here, you find it helpful. If, I'd appreciate it if you could either like, comment, and or subscribe for a small channel. It helps a lot. And uh, without further ado, let's get into it. All right, so if you're brand new to the game, this is where you're going to start. And you're going to look up, and you're going to be like, oh, damn, we got to go up. So there's two ways to do this. Right? You can just start running over here. And you can go boom. Now, you can start climbing this monstrosity here. Uh, if you are looking for the easiest way, and still a very quick way to do it, just run by all of this. No need to mess with it. You just go boom. You run to the back here. Find the little red light. And oh my god, we have an elevator. That is your first skip. So now we are at maze pipes, right? We just ran up this ramp nice and easy. There's a lot of different ways you can go here. I'm going to show you the way I like to go. It is quick. It's not the quickest. Again, you lose about two or three seconds doing it this way, but I find it to be much easier. So to start off, you know, you can just climb up here, right? No problem. If you want to go up quicker, you can pre-jump and then you avoid the climb. The climb takes about a second to a second and a half to do. So if you're trying to do it quickly, just feel free to just boom, you jump up, all right? And now uh, you're going to just go down here. And what you want to aim for is that second ledge right there. Okay. Boom, right? All you gotta do is jump and then hold W and press the spacebar as you approach the ledge and you're gonna climb up here. Super easy. That's a sprint jump, by the way. So you wanna sprint jump off that ledge. And then from here, you're just gonna climb, 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 nice and easy. Boom, come up here. You're gonna climb again. You're gonna climb again. And boom, climb up here. And you can just jump and just spam your spacebar, jump, spam your spacebar. And, and this is gonna be your visual cue that you are going in the right direction. The spiral is the way to the next area. And then from here, you're just gonna walk up here. If you've got low sense or a small mouse pad, that's gonna happen to you right there. Just go back and face the pipe and he should climb back up. And you're gonna keep running and boom, happens again. Very common. Uh, the top tier, uh, speedrunners, they sprint this whole thing. I don't. From here, you're just going to sprint jump. Boom. Nice and easy. You're gonna go, and you're going to climb up here. You're going to climb up here. And then run up this ladder. Boom. Boom. And you're going to go sprint. You're going to sprint right into that. You don't even have to jump. You just sprint into it. And then boom, you're up here. And bada boom. You are officially done with pipes. Now we've arrived at your first train station. Nice and easy, right? So far, so good. You're just gonna run over here. You're gonna pet the dog, hello, hello. And you're gonna go right here. And what's that? A bed. That's a bed skip. What it's gonna do is it's gonna take you to the roof of the train station. So we're over here, here's the bed. All you're gonna wanna do is sprint, jump, hold W, and then hold your A key. Just point the direction where you want to go. You want to land kind of on this roof. If you jump over here, you can actually get up here without climbing, if you're wondering. So just from the tip of the roof, boom, just like that. And then from this ledge here, you don't have to climb that. That's just a blunder on my part. So from this ledge here, you just want to sprint, jump, and then aim your camera towards the direction you want to run. And boom, you're on tracks. From here, you're just going to run up the tracks and what you're gonna find here shortly is a bed so here we are at the bed 
you want to stand at the third track end. So one, two, three, we're at the third track. All right, so what we're going to do from here is we are going to sprint, jump at the headboard, hold left to strafe. In this case, I'm going to use my A key to strafe left and bounce somewhere in the middle of the bed. And I'm going to keep holding my A key. All right, ready? We go sprint W, A key, hold the A, hold the A key. Now switch to W and boom, you land up here. All right. From here, it's very simple. You just want to jump down, boom. And you're just gonna follow the train tracks nice and easy. Gonna go all the way up and we're gonna skip forward to the next difficult part. Um, that way we can help you out. This part is quite self-explanatory. You don't need much help climbing these train tracks. Just run up them. Very simple. All right, this area here is gonna be our next skip area. You can already see the beds in the distance. There's four of them. This is called the four bed skip, okay? From here, you can just climb up these two ledges right here and get to the top, which is nice and easy. Or you can just jump over here. Just be careful because you can fall. And it is a little bit quicker to jump to the right than it is to climb uh, two ledges. You can just take each bed one at a time, no problem. There is additionally a skip where you skip that second bed, okay? Either way is fine. Either way is gonna get you a good time. So you can just go jump, and then you just wanna maneuver yourself so you're over the bed. Go a little forward, maneuver yourself where you're over the bed. And on the fourth bed, you wanna just hold W key. So once you bounce off the third bed, you need to hold the W key. Do not let go of the W key or you will shortfall it. You grab the ledge, boom. Your target is going to be uh, to the right of that pipe right there. There's that little metal beam. You want to grab that little metal beam. And then from the beam, we're going to go over to the platform. I'll show you right now. So we're going to jump and you can just land right on the beam nice and easy. And from here, you can just jump up here. And the rest of these, you can just do sprint jumps. You don't have to for most of them. However, I just find it easier to, for consistency purposes to just sprint jump it. This one, you don't have to sprint jump. You can regular jump, sprint jump that. And you have finished the oil refinery. Now we are in the factory. The factory area is very short. Is, it's almost not worth mentioning. However, what I will do is show you one short that I find to be very helpful. Most people will take this assembly line, jump across on the forklift and start running up the ramp. If you want a quicker way, you can just climb on this and then climb up here. Nice and easy. Saves you a little bit of time, not a super big skip, but I thought it was noteworthy. Once you come up from here, you're gonna be at the desert beds. All right, guys, so now we're at the desert beds, okay? And what you wanna do here <clears throat> is you need to full sprint these bed jumps, okay? But what I find to be easiest is to find some sort of landmark for yourself on the ground as to when to jump. I've kind of just gotten used to it, so I know when to jump. But what we're gonna do is we are going to full sprint and jump on that bed that you can see at the lip of the edge there. And we're gonna bounce onto that next desert island. Boom, we are now airborne. You're gonna be up in the boom, you're gonna land, and you're gonna run over here. So that's the successful first skip. Nice and easy, right? Not too hard. You're gonna do the same exact thing on this one. What you wanna do is the following. You're just gonna sprint, you're gonna jump, you're gonna hold W, and I'm gonna tell you when to start holding the S key, which is gonna be your, your back key. Boom, we are now approaching. I'm gonna hold my back key a bit and look how softly we land, okay? If you don't hold the S key, here's what can happen. Okay, so hold your S key to stop your forward momentum so that you slow down. Once you're at the subway station, there's two ways to go over this little uh, uh, barricade right here, right? So you just either you can climb over it 
or if you want to save a bit of time what you can do is you have a roll feature in this game if you double hit control your character will roll and in some jumps what you're going to find is that it can actually cancel out the climbing animation this is one of those cases so what you can do is literally just sprint jump roll and you're over not very difficult it feels really good to do and it saves you a little bit of time if you don't want to do it don't do it just climb over it no problem from here what we're going to do is we need to run along this train we're going to hug the train and as we get to the end we're going to jump and the hope is that we skip the climbing animation if done correctly we go boom and we've skipped the climbing animation so if you jump too early you'll still get up there but you have to climb just like that so try to you know don't jump too too late otherwise you're just gonna fall but try to jump late late and that way you can skip the animation once you've completed that little jump you're gonna run over here through the train and you're just gonna run up here nice and easy that's your train station the turbine, I would say, as a new player, is going to be one of the trickiest parts to play around. However, with the tricks I'm going to show you right now, we're going to make it super, super easy. Uh, and hopefully don't struggle too much with it. So this is where a lot of people fail the first time around. It's when the game starts to become a little bit more difficult. Once you practice it, it will not be difficult. It's super, super easy. So what we're going to do is we're going to start by climbing the pipe here. You can just jump straight onto that. You can jump straight onto that and then you sprint jump to the last platform there. Easy. You are now at the, uh, what are these things called? Uh, they're called uh, drones. Yeah. So you're now at the drone. You're going to wait for the drone to climb a little bit, okay? Once you get a little bit of height, just sprint jump off towards the center pillar. And boom, you're going to land here. Obviously, there's a bed here. So we are now at Turbine Bay. And this is where boys become men, okay? Where girls become ladies and where adversity meets triumph, okay? All this to say is it's kind of tricky, but it's really not that hard. There's two ways to, that I like to do this. When I first started playing the game, I used to just jump on the bed, hold the W key, and I'm aiming for this little bridge here. Nice and easy. It's not hard to do very hard to miss all right boys once you're at the top of the turbine the easiest way to do this is just once the blade passes once it passes you just walk onto the spinning part account for the account for the uh the spin and then just jump you want to be holding the A key to counter the spin since it's going right. You want to press left and W at the same time to counter the spin of the turbine. And then you just get up here. Okay, it's not super hard. I fell. So that's one way to do it. You can full sprint it. It's way, it's way riskier. It'll make your butt clench. I don't know if it's worth it. But if you want to, you can just full sprint and climb it as well. Or you can do the first way I showed you, which I find to be pretty easy. Whichever you prefer. Okay, so here we are back at the base of the turbine. We're gonna do the second skip, okay? All right, now here's how you do it. We're gonna climb on the headboard here at the left corner. For timing and visual cues, it's super important that you get some down. What I like to use is if you see the top of my head, if you, this building right here, you, you're watching that propeller blade move towards the edge. When that propeller blade hits the edge of this building right here is when I press W key and move forward. That's my indicator to jump. So we'll do it again here. It's coming by. Boom. We jump. We hold the back key because we want to catch the edge. You can use your slow motion function here. You're going to spam your space bar. He's going to climb and you're going to spam your space bar again. And it's going to launch you up here nice and easy. All right. Ideally, you don't fall and you just whatever, but, but you get the point. All right, guys. So you have just flung yourself off the turbine. Boom. 
successfully you have landed on this rooftop you're like all right what do we do now well here comes another skip but what you're going to do is you're just going to sprint jump roll and you can just turn around and just hold your w key and it's going to bounce you right up here so we're going to just show you guys one more time you're going to just sprint jump roll turn around hold w key and boom you're going to be up here there's a bed right here there's a bed on the roof on this roof right here you can't see it there's a bed right here we're going to jump from this bed to that bed to the top of that highway right there that you can see it's a big skip all right so what we're going to do is we're going to go boom from here you can just sprint jump boom and look up and you're going to skip all the way to the highway boom All right, so we just finished this car area over here where we landed previously. You can r just run up the road um, and you'll get to the next area, super simple. If you want a li nice little mini shortcut, it's right here. Just jump on this ledge. There's a little bed here. And you don't have to sprint jump it, just normal jump it. That'll bring you up, nice and easy. You're in the new area. From here, you need to get to that trampoline. What you're going to do is you're going to just go up here, boom, nice and easy. You're going to do a, a stationary sprint jump and you're going to turn around, hold the, keep holding the W key and you're going to land up here. All right. Now, as you approach the, the end of the road here, you're going to see the bed that skips you to the elevator. You don't want to sprint jump this, just normal jump. Just hold W key, no sprint button, normal jump, and boom, you're going to land right at the foot of the elevator, and you take the elevator up. So from here, we're just gonna go for that gold bar. We're gonna jump, spam the space bar. He's gonna grab it, okay? Nice and easy. It's not too hard once you get the jump down. Just don't wait too long to jump because then you will just fall. All right, now from here, what I like to do is we need to jump on that bed while, main while constantly holding the W key. Because what this bed is gonna do is it's gonna launch us to the top of this building and ultimately, it's gonna bring you to the halfway point of the game. Really nice and easy, right? So from the back of the gold bar, so we're gonna do a stationary sprint jump, boom. Hold the W key, bounce, keep holding the W key. Look, nice and easy. We're gonna land right here. You're right now at the top of the building. You take this mini scuffed elevator all the way to the top, and congratulations, you are officially halfway through the game. Just gonna sprint jump off that. Sprint jump from there, and boom, you are halfway through the game. Yes, we are 51 minutes at the halfway mark, because I am stopping a lot to talk and explain things for uh, people watching at home. And you're going to stand on this little elevator, and it's going to take you up to the god area. So we are now uh, at the spine. Some people, new players, get nervous on the spine. They think they can fall off. I have never fallen off the spine. You just full, just full sprint it. From here, we're gonna show you the Jesus hand skip. It's very nice and easy. You can just climb up it and be a good little boy. Or you can be a Giga Chat speedrunner and do the following. So you're going to go from here. You're going to stationary sprint jump onto the cross. You're going to climb up here. And you're going to stationary sprint jump to the roof here. 
I like to call this the boob. From the top of the boob, you stationary sprint jump. Boom, hold your W key. It's gonna bounce you up. You bounce from the boob, you land at the top, nice and easy. This book is gonna bounce you up onto Mr. Jesus here. You're gonna run along his beautiful head onto this back platform and onto the flaming hand. Okay, boys, we have finished the Jesus hand. It takes us to the school. I like to call the area above us the Harry Potter area. You can go through the school, and what you're gonna see is, oh my God, a bed. Look, a bed right there, holy. That is not the bed you wanna use. You wanna run out back here. And behind this bush, there is another bed, my friend. And what we wanna do is we wanna sprint, jump, onto the bed and we want to aim for the right wing of that glider so what we're going to do is just go like this sprint jump nice and easy it's going to take it nice and high and it's going to land you pretty much in front of the floating harry potter tables boom if you find yourself needing to use the slow motion go for it you don't need it but if you if you're new and you need it go for it And you are now on the, I don't know what to call this thing. So it used to be a solar system. Now it's just, I don't know. You're gonna come, you're gonna run up here. You're gonna run around. The, I like to stick to the outer edge. I find that the inner edge is bugged and sometimes you fall through. So stick to the outer edge. You're gonna jump on this pond twice. So you're gonna do two climbs to the top of the pond. From here, you're gonna just jump on your, uh, uh, what is it, a king? You're gonna jump on your king. There is a strat to sprint and run and land straight on the chessboard. Unnecessary risk. I don't think it's a necessary risk. Let's go from here. It takes an extra second. Now you're on the chessboard. Once you're on the chessboard, get behind the queen. You jump on the top nice and easy. And the chessboard area is for the most part cleared. What we have now is I would say one of the more difficult jumps in the game. A lot of people are intimidated by this jump. Once you get it down, it is super easy. I'm gonna show you a method that I use that nearly gets me there 100% of the time. So what we are is we're, we're on top of the upside down chessboard now, and there's a bed there. And this skip is large. We are going for the Atlas jump or the waifu jump. Um, I don't know if there's a waifu there anymore, but there used to be a really nice anime girl there. Now, what I want to do here is I'm not going to jump. You are not going to jump. You are going to sprint and you are going to aim for where the blanket meets the pillow. So right where I'm standing, that line right there, that's where you want to land, okay? As you're in the air, what we're going to do, I'm going to slow it down and I'm going to talk to you guys as we do it. But we're just going to sprint. We're going to aim for that line. Boom. We are airborne. Now, you can see the little sunflower there. You're going to aim for that. So you're going to keep holding your W key. And you kind of want to line up with that sunflower. And the reason why is you have a lot of momentum. And that sunflower is going to serve as your backboard. So if you ever played basketball... That sunflower is your backboard. You're going to bounce off the back of it. Just like that. Okay? From here, I just like to I just like to walk forward and kind of land in the middle of the bed. You bounce up, you, you land on this, um, you land on this barrel, nice and easy, and you get on the ship.
So now we've reached the top of the stairs. We are at the cannon jump. It's a really fun jump. It's not difficult at all. What you want to do is climb into the head of the cannon. And it's going to shoot you up to that iceberg where my head is. So where my head is right now, that little iceberg. It's going to launch you up there. So we're going to go boom. We're going to land inside. We're going to look up. Boom. And what I do is I hold W and my left key and just get up here. And that brings you to the champagne skip, which is like a massive, massive skip in the game. Um, so we'll go through that here shortly. This is a massive skip. It's gonna help you a lot. It's gonna save you a ton of time, learn it. It's super easy. It's not difficult whatsoever. What you're gonna do is go into your settings, drop it to 30 frames a second because this jump only works at 30 frames a second. It is allowed in speed runs, by the way. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna climb the champagne bottle and as we peak the cork, we are going to go into slow-mo and we are going to crouch in the center of the bottle while still holding the slow-mo button. And we're gonna aim for that Coliseum right there, all right? So watch as I do it, we're gonna climb, boom. And we're gonna crouch and we're gonna look up and it's gonna launch us. Now you can release the slow-mo button. There's the second hit. And what you wanna do is you're gonna just go up here and you're gonna land here, all right? Massive, massive, massive skip, okay? You just look at the Coliseum and you just hold the W key uh, and you wanna maneuver yourself away from this Rainbow Road because it is solid. So if you bonk your head on it, you will go back down, but you only go back down to the cork jump. So it's not very punishing, all right? If you are new to the area, everything in the middle all the food falls. If you jump on it, you fall. It falls. The only thing that doesn't fall is the second pizza. This pizza right here. By the way, you can go back into your settings and put it back at whatever frame rate you were originally running because you don't need the low FPS anymore. So if you jump on that pizza, if you jump on the cheese, if you, if you jump on the cutting board, they all fall and they will, and it's, it's a big fall. Don't do it, all right? So all you wanna do here is jump on the second pizza you just noticed you just saw how that one fell this one was the only one that will not fall and then from here you want to get on the flowers nice and easy and from here you're just going to run straight all right so once you get to the top here you're going to reach this tunnel this part i would say involves some of the hardest strategies in the game in terms of skips there are four ways to do this next area um Two of them, I'm not going to show you because they're, well, I'll show you as many as I can. Um, one of them just involves climbing all the way to the top. I'm not going to show you that one because it's super self-explanatory. If you feel like climbing all the way up, go for it. No problem. Okay. See, now we're going to run through the tunnel. The dragon's going to spawn on our left. You want to try to stay in the middle of the tunnel. It does matter. And you're going to jump. You're going to go to the edge here and you're going to look at that plank right there. Now the wing is going to pick you up here in a second. You want to run to the edge of the wing. And he's going to flick his wing. And when he does, you're going to press space bar. Watch. Boom. Space. It launches you. About two, about one and a half seconds later, you want to roll. You want to double press control to roll to stop the outward momentum because he launches you outwards. He launches you this way and you want to go this way to land on the black hole. So he launches you this way. You want to wait anywhere from one to two seconds and then you double tap your control key to roll to stop your momentum. And then you want to hold your W key to move forwards towards the black hole edge, okay? Once you get to the black hole, it's easy from here. You're just going to run into the black hole, take the elevator to the top, and that's the end of the game. All right, that is the hardest skip I have showed you in this video so far. It will take you several, several runs. Um, but if you practice it, I promise it's worth it. There is an even more difficult um, 
There is an even more difficult skip with the dragon, which I've been trying to learn. It is very, very difficult. I have not had any success with it yet. Once I do have success, I will come up with another video to show you guys how to do that skip. But if you enjoyed the video, if you found it helpful at all, please consider leaving a like, uh, a subscription or a comment below. It's very helpful. If there's anything you wanna see that I did not include in this video or things that you would like to see be done differently, please leave me a comment. I do read them all. Um, and uh, in advance, I, I thank you for all the support. I hope you enjoyed it, guys. This is the end of the game, nice and easy. And you just run to the spaceship. Have a blessed day, everyone, and we will see you in the next video. Peace.